Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're hopping back into the Crystal Hollows because we have a ton of powder grinding to do, and a ton of powder grinding I have done, as well as getting a ton of Essence, Skyblock XP, everything in between, as well as a museum donation that I've been waiting a long time to do. So if you guys are excited for today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking on the Hypixel store for the brand new fire sale that came out today, the Bone and Candy Batskin, don't forget to use my career code on checkout that's z-a-c-h to save five percent it's a great way to support myself and the channel and you save a little bit of money when checking out so it's a little bit of a win-win situation shout out to everyone using my code though you guys are amazing and without further ado let's jump right into today's episode well today we are starting today off by me letting you know what i was up to for multiple hours last night and that was powder slash essence grinding and by goodness did we ever do a lot of it if we go ahead and show you guys how much essence i'm at or powder sorry I'm up to 6.87 million mithril and 11.3 million gemstone powder. I also have like a little bit here, but I just can't afford my next mole upgrade or a fissure miner. So that's just, uh, that's what I have kind of sitting around. I guess I can do a season my man upgrade. Why not? May as well max this one out and then keep working towards this. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the progress towards powder grinding has been going. Been doing a ton of it and uh, also been getting a bunch of essence along the way. Unfortunately, no diamond goblins last night, which was really tragic uh, i'm still only at three of those so that's a little bit sad but i went from like having no diamond essence last night to now having 1800 which is kind of insane and i'm gonna be honest i'm upgrading return to sender um part of me wants to upgrade uh, all everything else basically i mean tank class xp i wouldn't mind upgrading radiant fisher again but i think this is definitely worth my time and so is High Roller. This is one I kind of want to prioritize soonish. I mean, I don't really plan on doing any uh, Nucleus runs, like, imminently, but eventually we're going to do more. And this, I'm pretty sure, literally increases your chance to get an Alloy. So this is a top priority before we before we do any more Nucleus runs. Like, let's say I plan on doing Nucleus runs. I will go and Powder Mine for the day and get 5,000 uh, Diamond Essence or two days, however long that's going to take me to get. But... Yeah, we have uh, a little over 1750. We have 1856. So let's just go ahead and upgrade Return to Sender to 9. Increase the chance of a Diamond Goblin spawning by 90%. And that was also 9 Skyblock XP. Don't mind if we do. And yeah, we need 2500 for the last upgrade of this. That's probably what I'm going for. But there's a good chance I cave and go for something much cheaper because... Uh, yeah, saving up that much is going to take a long time, but it's definitely worth my while. I mean, I basically need to think of it as every 250 diamond essence is an XP, which is pretty well spent, you know, 250 essence for one XP. The problem is I just need to do that 10 times and then I can claim all the XP type of thing. So I kind of like breaking things down in my head like that, but I don't know why I do. I just do. Either way, we also have some gold essence to go ahead and claim in. I'm going to do a little bit more essence grinding this morning because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be really close to being able to upgrade something twice being, uh, I think it's called eager miner, right? Is that what I'm thinking of? Uh, it should be this one here. Yeah. Eager miner. So, uh, I need 1500 to upgrade twice and I'm at 1387. So I'll definitely go and get the rest. Part of me also wants to just go ahead and upgrade this for vitality because I'm about to get into blade slayer, but we'll circle back around to that. You know, I, th I think that'll be my, uh, priority to upgrade after this the thing is the next two upgrades for this are like so expensive essence wise so that's why i'm not prioritizing it i guess you could say but we're gonna go and upgrade this for uh 700 essence and i need 800 essence to do it again that was eight skyblock xp though which is quite nice indeed and um yeah i need 800 essence we're at 687 so i'll make sure we get that done today as well if i forget i'm gonna be very sad but i won't forget we'll get it done another thing however that i've gotten a ton of along the way is goblin eggs okay various different kinds we're up to 550 regular goblin eggs we crafted the pesto goblin omelet and we already have another 197 uh we're up to 47 reds i got a blue egg last night so we're up to 32 there and we're at over 99 yellow goblin eggs so we can actually go ahead and make the sunny side goblin omelet which is like this one's really good i'm pretty sure if i'm remembering right i really hope i am i'm gonna be sad if i'm not but which one is it here? Um, where is the omelet? Is it on the first page? Goblin omelet. This one here. Okay, so grants plus 50 mining fortune, but fuel consumption is doubled. That's actually really good. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to go and grab out a fine topaz. This is probably one of the... Uh, this is probably the best goblin omelet we're going to have until we get the blue one. So we're going to be rocking the sunny side goblin omelet for a while. Um, but yeah, let's go and get that thing cooking. There we go. 99 yellow goblin eggs. 
and really happy about that that leaves us with oh that was not what i was looking for leaves us with still needing red and blue so we only have two more omelets to grind for um red one we're slowly getting there it's taking longer than i thought to get some red eggs i'm not gonna lie and what does the red one do again uh let me remind myself titanium more will drop 20 mithril powder on mine yeah this one isn't anything crazy i'm gonna be honest but we're still going to go for it just because I want all the omelets. And then obviously the blue one, this one's cracked. Adds one level to all unlocked higher than mountain perks. Like let's say you have them all maxed. Literally adds a whole nother level of like fortune, speed, just all that good stuff. So I really want to get my hands on that. Obviously I might have to start looking for um, like on some discords to see if people can warp me in for blue goblin eggs if I ever want to get that. But yeah, either way, happy about the sunny side one. And hopefully, eventually, we can work our way towards the blue one. Something else I can finally go ahead and do. My goodness, my ice minion has been cooking for a freakishly long time. I have a Yeti rod set aside that I haven't salvaged for essence, even when I've been tempted. And we should now have, if I go into my winter sack, two stacks of enchant packed ice. Wait a second. Okay, my goodness, I have enough to craft the last piece. If I was one short, I would have been actually so sad. That would have been tragic. But we can go and take two stacks of enchant packed ice. Our Yeti Rod in the center, if the game will allow it. There we go. And we can take our two stacks of enchant pack dice. This takes forever to cook up. I've had one minion just chugging away. And finally, we can craft an Augur Rod, which triples the chance of sea creatures that you spawn to be winter sea creatures. There we go. We have that bad boy crafted. I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, see this thing's been chugging along. 1.3 million ice collected. So appreciate your service um i'm gonna go ahead and find all the enchants i need for this thing and then we can go slap it in the museum okay i think i put everything i can on it for now i, I don't have any blessing caster or piscary six books which is unfortunate so as i get those they will be going on this rod uh i wouldn't mind recomming this thing at some point overall just it's it's pretty bare bones it's it's reforged it's got basically all the enchants i can think of for now so pretty happy with it um Gonna go ahead and slap it in the museum because that is a new museum unlock and that's gonna give us a whopping nine sky block xp don't mind if we do 78 out of 100 towards level 365 it's coming along it's coming along and honestly i can't wait to use this thing next fishing uh or next time jerry's workshops open that's actually gonna be a lot of fun so pretty exciting stuff and my goodness am i ever running out of space in this backpack i don't know what to put where this is getting slightly hectic um i guess i can take this helmet like what is this helmet uh pretty bare bones helmet not gonna lie okay i should have enough essence now i told you i wouldn't forget um yeah just did a double powder so those are always good fun and uh got about two hundred thousand powder of each which is amazing you'll love to see it over 7 million mithril powder now and 11.5 million gemstone that's beautiful. And we do have enough essence to go ahead and get Eager Miner 8. And uh, yeah, we still have two upgrades from this. That was plus 8 Skyblock XP. 900 for the next one. And then it's going to be 1,000 for the last one. So 1,900 to max out this perk, which is uh, probably our top priority. And then, yeah, we can kind of start messing around with all these other ones, which is super exciting. Really good stuff. Um, beautiful. And another thing I forgot, actually, is I need to go to Warp Drag because they added a new perk to this that I just keep on forgetting to go ahead and use some of my Dragon Essence on. I don't have much. 1,700. Um, we have a decent amount of things maxed out in here, but there's a lot that we also don't have maxed out. So, yeah, 1,700 is quite pricey, but we have Unbridled Rage, which increases Berserk class experience gain by up to 10%, obviously, through the upgrades. This one gets very pricey, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to go and do the first upgrade for two Skyblock XP. It's going to be 1,500 for the next. It does start to climb uh, quite quickly. And with this one, 5,000, like the last upgrade before this was like 1250 and it jumps to 5k, like make it make sense, you know, but either way, I will take my two skyblock XP and happily be on my merry way. And uh, that's just one of those things we need to keep checking in on, making sure, see if we have any dragon essence once in a while, keep upgrading that. And uh, overall, really happy with our essence shops. We're, we're kind of getting there. I mean, we're 61.1% done towards maxing essence shops. Uh, a couple of these are a lot harder than others. For example, Maxing out on dead shop is literally going to take us forever. Like, not to mention the fact that this one is 100,000 on dead essence, and then this one is 200,000 on dead essence. And not to mention these uh, also have been getting a little bit pricey as well. But yeah, I mean, this one's just a mess. So we're working towards it. We really are. But that one is a slow process. Crimson essence shop is done. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we have wither essence shop done. And then golden diamond, we're, we're getting somewhere, but 
in no real rush i'm gonna be honest but yeah we still have a decent amount of xp to get from here i mean 19 more xp from two more decently easy upgrades so i'm looking forward to those for sure and uh yeah these they just get everything gets pricey real quick so we're doing our best but um it's a it's definitely not a quick process but progress is progress okay i was looking around at like a museum donation i can do to uh level up and my goodness i haven't handed this in this is actually insane okay wait honestly i i kind of forgot that this was something i could hand in uh it's a full molten set of equipment um yeah don't mind if i do like what i can't believe i can't believe i, I didn't realize i could do that well that's that's free that's literally free i, I had all that for like a long time and plus 15 skyblock xp That'll level us up. They give me plus 17. Interesting. But um, yeah, level 365. You love to see it. Uh, don't mind if we do. We are now currently 77th out of all Iron Man players, which is amazing. And yeah, another easy museum donation. I can't believe I didn't realize I could I could hand in a molten set. Like, what? How'd I how'd I miss that? That that was like way too easy, you know? So yeah, kind of glad I went and looked because otherwise I would have honestly, it would have taken me a long time to realize that I could do that. So Glad I noticed, and um, yeah, there we go, level 365. We're killing it. That's awesome. Also, something I'm going to do that is, uh, I guess you could say a little questionable, is I have an eerie pet. Here he comes. Hey, buddy, good to see you. He's level 60 legendary. I've been doing my enchanting table with him. I just slapped a common combat EXP boost on him. I'm not going to waste more than that, but I do actually have something to go ahead and claim, which... Um, I, I guess we should, right? It's it's a bestiary milestone, and it's one that gives a million combat XP. So I figured, why not dump it on this? Like I'm, I want to max this peta eventually, right? I don't know if it's a need for the event or whatnot, but this is a great way to kind of boost him up there. So let's go ahead and claim that level 60 to level 72. There we go. He uh, he got quite the boost from that, which you love to see. And yeah, he's climbing his way up the ranks. Level 72 legendary eerie pet. What a what a weird pet, but either way. Love seeing some progress from that, as well as a Beast Jerry Milestone. So you, it's just good stuff all around. So unfortunately, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did end up enjoying it. I'm sorry if uh, videos are slightly shorter over like the next three-ish days. There's going to be like a full 24-hour period where I'm just traveling back home. So I'm doing my best to try and get ahead so you guys still have a video. Hopefully, you guys understand, and hopefully, the uh, video quality isn't going down or anything and you guys are still enjoying these but yeah i have some fun stuff planned for tomorrow's episode hopefully you guys did end up enjoying this one if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys aren't new around here don't forget to use code zach when checking on the hypixel store for that brand new fire sale that came out earlier today without further ado i can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's video take care and peace out